Uh, Amy Root, boy, Hi. talk about we. What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Good, bad. I, I love your character because we never know where you're coming from. We, we think you're, you're you're bad, then you're good. Uh, can we ever can we ever trust Root? I, I mean, I feel like I've been pretty consistent in that I I'm just looking out for the machine and. At this point, anyway, the machine seems to be the good guy, at least compared to Samaritan. So I think everybody else has to listen to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have to. I think, uh, I think we should uh, get some uh, questions from the audience if uh, we want to do that and bring people up now and see what the audience has to say. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, perfect. First off, I just want to say I really like the show. You guys are doing a great job with it. Um, the question I wanted to ask you guys is, I know in the beginning the show kind of had some people going, oh, wow, this kind of seems too far out, too unrealistic. Mm -hmm. What kind of validation did you guys have, and this is for the panel, when all the NSA and Soden stuff started coming out? <laughs> I, I was able to fire my therapist. It was very validating. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah was running around going, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's an odd kind of validation to realize the world is every bit as, as screwed up as you, uh, as you have portrayed it in a <laughs> speculative fiction television show. Um, but, you know, it encouraged us to get even further out there. I think it, was, it, it felt to us like a challenge. Okay, the world has caught up with us. Let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's get out and, and see what the next five years are going to look like. Well, for the whole cast, I have a question. Is, has this show made you more paranoid at just about everything? Because I know just from watching the show, I'm always looking for cameras wherever I go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even doing anything, but uh, yeah. I'm looking for cameras. No, unfortunately, it definitely has that effect on me. And, you know, I say that before the show, I lived in my very happy pink bubble that consisted of frozen yogurt and babies. Mm. And now, and my, my husband was a huge fan of the show before I um, got on board. And so I get a double dose of this at home too. And uh, now I'm just all screwy in the head. <laughs> yeah, it's really done a number on me. How about you, Jim? Uh, just the other day, I was um, uh, woke up and uh, looked out the Brook Brooklyn Bridge and saw that there were two white flags on the Brooklyn Bridge. They took off the U.S. flags. And uh, they um, were looking for these guys, and they had the surveillance cameras on them, and they'd covered up. Like, and they said, well, don't worry, we'll find you on social media. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, though, like when something like that happens in the news, I, I immediately go, to, I love the bump, the FX bumpers you guys do, and do 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 moves all, and I'm, I'm thinking that, like, okay, the cameras are on, they're sorting through it, and that's really what goes on now, we find out. So uh, thank you for tipping us off. Next question. <laughs> Hi there. I love the show, I've been with it since day one. Um, really feel that Reese's character was a little bit more passive this last season, and I'm looking forward to it being less decimated, pun intended. Um, but my question is, will you bring Zoe back? Because I really miss her. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Paige Serco, we, and we, we love her, we love her character. Um, we, uh, we will definitely be looking for chances to get her, her back into our story. Great, yeah. And I miss Carter, too. <laughs> Next question. Hi. Um, so I recently got my mom into the show, too, and it's now her favorite show, and she has a crush on Michael. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> um, so um, Decima has to have known that, um, that Fusco was working with Finch and with Reese. And it seems, at least from the clip, that um, Fusco still has a job that he had before. And my question is, why wouldn't the new machine have targeted Fusco as um, someone to be eliminated? Um, and, or has it, and I don't know about it yet. And, um, Are you saying you don't want Fusco back? I want <laughs> I'm saying that it makes I can I, I love know, the Fusco. I love the Fusco, but but Decima had to know that Fusco is working with the rest of the team. So why hasn't he been targeted? Who, who says Fusco isn't working with Samaritan? Who says Fusco isn't Samaritan? I hope that's not true. Hmm. <laughs> 
And speaking of Samaritan, I, who built Samaritan? We don't know this yet. Was there any inkling? It, it, has Finch had yeah. something to do with that? Is, like, where did that? Um, we, we explored that, yeah. Arthur built. Finch's, Finch's old colleague, Arthur. Oh, uh, right, and, right. Uh, in, in two episodes in the middle of last season, we got a little, little bit of the backstory of that, but it's now been heavily adapted uh, by Greer for his, for his purposes. And in fact, what, you know, what its end goal is, is something that we hope to explore this season. Next question. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, thank you all for such a wonderful, wonderful show, first of all. Um, my Kevin, uh, my uh, question's more for Kevin, actually. Um, one of my wishes for season three was for your character to get a lot of background and like sort of finish that transition from bad cop to good cop. Um, what was your best part about playing that whole arc? And uh, since he's not targeted by Decima, what are what are the creators' views for like how Fusco will fit into this whole brand new game board in season four? Um, well, the first part of the question is, uh, you know, I think that the real turn for Fusco is when um, he has the the fight with Simmons and, and he reflects about his relationship with Carter. That's an awesome. Um, I think it's from at that point where where Fusco really kind of cements himself into being on the right side of the law. Um, where it all gonna where it all gonna fit in the grand scheme of things? I mean, Fusco is the only one that's still on the grid, so it'll be uh, be interesting to see how that all how that all plays out. Next question. Too short. Sorry. Hi, um, I'm Hannah. Uh, You're fun size, by the way. You're not short. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love the show, and um, so I'm going to try to stop shaking. Uh, <laughs> sorry, you guys are my heroes. Um, I have a question for uh, Mr. Caviezel and Mr. Emerson. Um, you guys have a really strong core of people who make up Team Machine, and do you think that if they kill off either Finch or Reese, either Root or Shaw could take up the place, or would the team just kind of fall apart? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not that I want you guys to die. No. We, I, I never want to have that conversation uh, with Jonah and Greg. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Have you come here to spoil my game? <laughs> You think she was shaking before? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just teasing you. It, it, that, that's an interesting question, but I, I think we all have to proceed with the idea that, for dramatic purposes, we are expendable. Yeah. <laughs> and watch out for Bear as you make your way back to the room there. <laughs> but, but Shaw is sort of uh, is sort of the counterpart to Reese, really. And you know, if you're talking about somebody, not that we're going to lose Jim, but you know, stepping in or something. I mean, she 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 saves the day often, as we were talking about before. So, she'd be a candidate. Mm. Or maybe she'll go and be on Samaritan's side. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>